Hey everyone, welcome back to another amazing video. Today we're checking out some amazing Figma and Adobe XD plugins which will absolutely upgrade your designs and your workflow. Now I'll be dividing this video into two parts, one for Figma users, the second for Adobe XD users. I'll have timestamps in the description so you can always skip to your favorite portion. So the first one for Figma is Image Palette and it's exactly what it looks like. So I've imported this picture from unsplash.com and I really like the colors that they've used inside it and I'm sure I can use this for an app design. Right click, plugins and image palette. It starts to work its magic and before you know it, there is a color palette right below it and it looks absolutely beautiful and I can use it in my apps. Not just that, in Figma of course you have selection colors so you can always add these into a color style, you can name them, you can add it to your design system right from here and it will look absolutely gorgeous. The second one in the list is called Hosted Export and this can be one of the most useful plugins in Figma in my opinion. So for example, I want to export and host this image somewhere else. So what I do is right click once again, go to plugin and if I click on the frame, which is frame one, I can quickly click on this link right here. It says fetching image URL. And what it does is it creates a custom URL so that you can use it in your other projects or you can just save it for later. And as you can see, it's created a special link for us. So if I say copy real quick and I will go to my browser and paste this and you'll be able to see the image in its full glory on a hosted website or platform like Compi. But nevertheless, it creates a special link and you can save it for later, share it with developers and much more. I used to think, do dreams come true? Well, they do. Convert Figma to Sketch and XD. Yes, if you like a UI kit in Figma now, you can always convert it for your XD files or Sketch files with ease. For example, I really like this uh, UI kit of sort, which is called Travel Cards. And I want to export this into XD or Sketch. All I need to do is select the frame. I like this subscribe card here. I just right click once again, go to plugins and I select Convertify Figma to Sketch or XD. And it allows us to either convert to XD, which is in, still in beta, or you can convert to Sketch. And the lovely part is you can convert to any version of Sketch as far as version 55. And I absolutely love that. Sketch has a problem with versioning and this will help it. And I can quickly go ahead, convert to XD, and let's see whether this beta version actually works or not. Your converted XD file is ready, surprise, surprise. And I say download XD file. And as you can see, it has downloaded the XD file and this actually works. Now a huge debate about security is going on and crypto password protection will actually help you protect your Figma files with an actual password. It sounds extra, but it actually helps you protect your company's or your own personal data. And you can either protect a static frame inside your design or a Figma prototype. So if you're running a prototype, you can even do that. For example, this dribble shot HD is something that exists on this page. I'll go ahead and say share prototype URL. It allows me to quickly just copy the link of my Figma file, put it in here, and that's about it. You can even set whether you want to show hotspots or not and just say create prototype URL. And I love this little animation which shows it's encrypting it. And once that is done, it has copied this. So if I open it even in an incognito mode, I paste it in here and as you can see crypto.figmatic.com and it is now password protected. Where's the password? If you go back to Figma, this is a little password that you can copy, send it to people if you want to and overall have a very secure, you know, communication between each other. This will also be helpful if you are sending designs to a client and the client isn't paying. You can actually password protect your entire Figma design or prototype just like this. And as you can see, it's opening it just like it opens in Figma and the prototype is ready to view. Okay, I just cannot create a Figma video and not include Blush. Blush by Pablo Stanley is absolutely one of my favorite tools as you can see with my comment here. And it doesn't do much. You just right click anyway, say plugins, Blush, and it opens a screen for you. Nothing else. Well, not until you see some amazing ways that you can use these illustrations. Of course, you can try Blush for free. 
You can use these designs, but you can't use them in their full potential without getting a paid plan, which is generally not that expensive. You can either randomize the entire design, so it creates random designs around this, as you can see, You can, or you can just customize your own version of it. I love how customizable this is and how open everything is. You have various things that you won't imagine there would be in any other illustration library. And the best part is you can even see different artists. So you can, you know, go ahead, follow them on their Twitters, LinkedIn, etc. And, you know, join the gang. Another great part is that you can actually search for something. So you can go ahead and search for a phone and it will bring you different illustrations that include a phone from different libraries. And this is absolutely amazing. Kudos to Pablo Stanley for creating such an amazing free resource for designers to use. All right, so moving on to Adobe X. If Adobe XD is the tool you use, definitely install these. Now, color inspiration is important for everyone. Just like in Figma, there is also a tool in Adobe XD called Color Inspo. You can quickly create color palettes. As you can see, there are a lot of color palettes already inbuilt inside this. You can keep on loading more and the number is just endless. You keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. In case you like a color palette, like I like this orange and yellow one, I can quickly go ahead and save it in my own design system or library. If I click on this, it adds assets automatically, as you can see right here with the color code, of course. You can quickly add it onto the screen here as well, just by clicking on this plus icon and it adds it onto your screen so that you can use it, reuse it, whatever you like. You can even search for a name. So if I say berry, it will search for berry colors for me. And as you can see, these color palettes are actual berry color palettes and I can quickly just add them. It also has a contrast checker. So if, in case you want to check between two elements, the contrast, it will basically do that for you and it will see whether it is a good contrast between the background and the color or not. As you can see, small text cannot be displayed on a color like this and that is true. So it is it fails it in a lot of tests and it actually rates it just one star out of five. And who can forget the AI part of this? Just click on a generate palette and it generates a random palette with random colors based on certain knowledge that it's given as an AI. A wonderful plugin to go and quickly try out. This will solve all of your color issues. Now, I'm not sure why people aren't talking about this, but Zoom for XD can be very useful. So if your team is using XD and using Zoom at the same time, which can be in a lot of cases, you can quickly go ahead and go live on Zoom through XD. You can see what are the upcoming meetings in XD itself, and you can join with screen sharing already on. So they won't see your face. They'll see your actual designs, which they are there for. So go ahead and try this out. I'm not going to show it because I'll have to open Zoom, try everything out. Now, this is a plugin generated by Adobe. So it's trustworthy, safe. Fibs allows you to create a golden ratio of a web page or on a app, anything. If I say four, four fibs, it will basically create this nice golden ratio for me, which I can then go ahead and scale up or scale down and create an actual design. This helps you understand web design and golden ratios both at the same time. It, it will also help you create better layouts, interesting layouts, which will help you create amazing looking wireframes and uh, amazing looking final designs as well. I'm, I've been trying to search some new and fresh icon libraries for XD and this icon library came in the front. Denali icons, is very good. If I open Denali icons here on the left, it will show me a bunch of icons that they've created. Very fresh looking, very nice, not too cartoony and not too professional, just very casual and nice looking icons. Some of these icons kind of remind me of material design, but that's a good thing. Not only outline, they also have a solid filled icon library right here, which it updates automatically. The, the good thing is that it's a vector, it's an SVG, so you can always change the way it looks or you can change the color, outline, shadows, whatever you like. One thing that I found missing was a search box. I wish there was a little search functionality that allows you to search for any icons here. However, they have kind of divided everything into different categories, data platforms, control and navigation and much more. So it should be easy to find icons that you're looking for. Now, last but not the least is another useful plugin called Line Height, which basically allows you to space different lines in the same screen differently. If you want more space between two lines, it can do that for you. If you want less space, it can do that for you. So I have two text boxes here with different data in it. I'll quickly click on line height and it allows me to create a line height here. So input here will be 1.5 or 1.6, whatever you like. 
or you can select a preset in from here so two it will do two again you can quickly go ahead and say line height again and it will do the same thing for this as well now you have an option to kind of enter a line height from here the line height is in percentage by default and it can get confusing sometimes so this basically simplifies line height and it allows you to create different line height for different for different text boxes quickly all right so that was it for today's amazing set of plugins if you like these plugins make sure you hit the thumbs up also subscribe to the channel because i post such content every monday and thursday i'll see you with another brilliant video next week till then make sure you keep safe and god bless